What up, guys? I'm back here on NBA 2K18. Apparently, I was on fucking payday too, but fucking hell, yeah. service is like lagging and shit. So, and I've been trying to go, I need to go upgrade my player right now as we speak. So, shit, let's get into it. Let's get into this game, man. Oh, we play the Knicks, Knicks. Go ahead and see what we're getting into. I know y'all want to see that shit right now. It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The fans are filling the seats in Orlando, the site of our broadcast, and where the magic will be going up against the New York Knicks. For the Knicks, an impressive four-game winning streak. They're really playing good basketball. We'll see if they can extend it to five with a win tonight. With the new year getting ramped up, teams just getting into the swing of things, getting some major storylines already brewing. What are you seeing up there? Well, you know, the rosters aren't coming together yet, and uh, it's still early still tough to figure it out. Then there's a lot of teams that's just off the radar right now, but they've been impressive. So I think that it's too early to tell. You know, too early to tell. Hey, the give, me the give, me, give me an answer. I can't give you these ELNs. These early like numbers, yeah. It's too early. Well, I, I see emerging young guns. You know, I see a couple veterans now hitting the wall. Fits, 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 All right, let's get into it. Uh, man, how you guys been doing? So what do y'all been thinking about 2K so far? Boo have you seen my mop? Mm -hmm. What's going on, little Doug? Man, I can't find my mop anywhere. I just put it down for a second and... Sure. You see my mop? Alright, as apparently I got endorsed by uh, Adidas, they gave me some ugly ass shoes. Hope they give me the Kobe 8.
Oh, shit, you know what? I just might motherfucker go ahead and wet them crazy the boots. Yeah. We got a corny ass intro, I'm not gonna fucking lie. <laughs> Get through talking, go ahead and sub me the fuck in so I can knock these motherfuckers out. I'm gonna prove myself. They're in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. This nigga's 70. Outside Hardaway. Screen by Porzingis. Here's Nila Kina. A 14 point game for him in the win against Sharks. And even if he took away his points, he was still an offensive force because of his passing. And his assist numbers. Ooh, sham! Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Hardaway passes to Heron Gomez. They set the pick. Here's Nila Kina. Now Nick Dermott, coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. The wide-open look here for Persingas, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. Fans to Isaac. Here's Azania. And again, it's the magic from deep. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Here's Neela Kina. And it's off from three-point ring. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. DJ dishes to be on. And here is DJ. Here's Isaac. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. Pass to Neil Aquino. Screen by Porzingis. They set the screen. Shot clock at six. Here's Ramon Gomez, and that's going to be a travel. The Knicks also changing it up. Beasley comes in for Doug McDermott, and it's Lee in for Hardaway. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. DJ kicks to well over Lee. The shot by Wells, no good. Hey, I thought he had the space to shoot comfortably there and disappointed that he missed it. 
here's Neil Aquino. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. On deep three-point range, Enzo is the Orlando Magic. For the size of the lead as the quarter wraps up, they're ahead 16 points. What a night they've had in terms of their shit. I'm doing so good so far. I ain't letting this 63 hold me back. Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Isaac's checked in for Vucevic. Azania comes in for Aaron O'Clock. Wells is checked in for Jonathan Simmons. And DJ subbed in for Augustine. So New York going with almost an entire new group. Bernie Gomez is checked in for Noah. Porzingis comes in for Kuzminskis. McGurr is checked in for Michael Beast. Hardaway is subbed in for Nilekin. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Porzingis and Hernan Gomez are together down low. Lee out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's McDermott in at the three. Here's Azania. They get the rebound. Porzingis with the block. And with his lift, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Back to Lee. There's a good screen. He kicks it to Hardaway. Off the screen. And that one comes up a bit short. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Passes it to Hazania. Feeds to DJ. To the paint. A second chance effort. And no good. The Knicks go the other way. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And, and the story of that game was their terrific rhythm on the offensive end. Yeah, I thought they were terrific at getting the ball who played so well together that night. Really shared the ball and looked for each other at a high level. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, if they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. And guys, what stands out to me the most of DJ's whole journey here to the NBA is that he was discovered in a streetball competition. Now, I don't know what kind of show he put on, but apparently it was enough to get a camp invite. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. Ah, oh, they suck me out. We're doing good so far. <coughs> we winning. What you talking about? Oh, I will be shooting guard. This is it. So the Magic win it. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got the sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed. This road trip here is the biggest video game tournament of the year. You got your hookups? Oh, yeah. How many controllers you got? Four. Nice. I haven't lost one of these tournaments yet, so let's not lose this one either. Hey, the only thing he takes more serious in the real game is his video games. Man, my whole life's a video game. Literally.
Yeah, how are they talking about that? We won. Fucked out, me. I'm still gonna buy some damn Reeboks though, with some Nikes and all that shit. He, uh, the fucking challenge is so, so fucking man. Like, I didn't think like you, it was gonna be this fucking much of, uh, of a journey, a climb. But uh, all I can say is this: I fucking look forward to what's coming next, as far as this. Grind of 99 shit. If I, I'll probably stop at fucking 70 something and call it a day, man. That's what I'll do. Don't want to sound like a fucking pussy, but fuck it. Yeah. Bonnie's be seeing no damn joke. I mean, look at that. Everybody, they gave about that long. Everyone got fucking 70, like 892. Yeah. You know what? I'll be okay. Yeah. Man, what you, man, what do you guys think, man? I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one, guys. Peace.